It's been 10 years since the start of the Great Recession back in 2007. And while things have slowly recovered in the decade since, one part of the economy that you may not think about has come back stronger than ever. In the first of several reports looking back at the recession rebound, Bailey Vote in our Washington bureau talks to experts about remittances, the money that immigrants here send to loved ones back home. It may only be a little amount of money that immigrants send home, but it adds up to tens of billions of dollars every year that help villages back home. But when the economy suffers here, the economy back home feels the pinch. For the first time in recorded history, uh, remittances uh, to developing countries actually declined, and remittances from the U United States, which is the largest uh, source country for remittances in the world. Dilip Ratha, lead economist for migration and remittances at the World Bank, said payments had risen every year since 1980 when the bank started tracking the data. But in 2009, the numbers fell from $55 billion a year to $50 billion the next. If economic conditions as they did in the Great Recession are falling everywhere, that it's an impact that in some ways is compensated in some ways multiplied by what's going on elsewhere. Rotha says one of the hardest hit countries was Mexico, where money coming from relatives in the U.S. dropped by $4 billion in one year. Thomas Sines of the Mexican American Legal Defense Fund says that drop in remittance payments is definitely felt in developing countries. Remittances are an important investment in a source country for lots of immigration and that can help to create opportunity, economic opportunity in Mexico. Remittances were slow to fall. Ratha attributes the personal connection, noting that while general foreign investment fell 40% during the recession, remittances only fell 7%. Immigrants will make sacrifices for their families back home, he says. Migrants, even if they lost their jobs or their incomes fell because of the crisis, they wanted to continue to help their families Sometimes they did that by cutting their own consumption. Today, remittances have soared past pre-recession levels to $66 billion in 2016, according to the World Bank. Ratha credits the improving economy, but also a drop in the cost of sending money. The last uh, three years, we have seen flows from the U.S. going up to 66 billion. So, you know, pre-crisis 2008, they were 55. Now we are talking about 66. While remittances are growing, Sines and Rotha worry that proposals in Washington to tax those transfers will boost costs and could drive the process underground. Live in Washington, Bailey Vote, Cronkite News.